Hello everybody, welcome to my video series, The Profitable Investor. My name is Mark, and this is a video series I created to help you and myself also become better investors. And this video is part two of a short two-part uh, video series that I did on investing, beginning investing. In the first video, if you watched that, it was all about the investment, and I gave this definition of investing. An investment operation is one upon thorough analysis, promises, safety of principle, and adequate return on your money. Operations not meeting these requirements are speculative. And then below that, I put that in my own words. An investment is an asset that grows in value after a certain period of time. So in this second video, I'm going to talk about the investor because investing has those two parts, an investor and an investment. We talked about an investment. Now let's talk about what is an investor? Now, a lot of people, when they say, I want to be an investor, and you ask them why, they will usually say, I want to make a lot of money. I want to be a millionaire. And when you ask them, why do I want to be a millionaire? They will probably give you a whole list of reasons. I want to buy a house. I want to buy a car, travel the world, send my kids to college, eat at nice restaurants, wear nice clothes, etc. And I think that is great and wonderful, except once you do that, you are no longer a millionaire because you will have spent your million dollars, or at least most of it. You will have less than a million dollars, and you no longer qualify for the millionaire club. So a lot of people, when they say, I want to be a millionaire, what they really mean is, I want to spend a million dollars. And that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't call yourself a millionaire if you're not a millionaire and don't say I want to be a millionaire when your whole intention is you don't want, really want to be a millionaire you want to spend it now with investing a lot of people do something very similar they say I want to be an investor and they think well I'm gonna buy houses and property and real estate and stocks and bonds and gold mutual funds futures oil natural gas baseball cars and that's great but buying all those things does not mean you're an investor. You may just be a speculator. Again, going to the definition of investing. An investment is an operation upon thorough analysis, promises, safety of principle, ding, 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 and adequate return on your money, ding, ding, ding. Operations not meeting these requirements are speculative, ding, ding, ding. So it's great that you want to buy real estate and gold and silver and mutual funds and all this stuff, but you may just be a speculator. That does not mean you are an investor. So from this definition of investing, we can get two things from it. The first thing is safety of principle. Is your money safe? And the second, adequate return. Are you going to make any money? So yeah, you may buy gold and it may go up a ton, right? But is your money safe? And sure, you could put your money in a checking account and your money is perfectly safe. FDIC insured up to $100,000. And are you going to make any money? A whopping half of a percent if you're lucky? So if you want to be an investor, those are the two questions every investor needs to answer. And those are two questions you need to answer. Number one is your money safe? Number two, are you going to make any money? If you cannot answer those two questions, you're not an investor. You are a speculator. Remember, the definition of investing promises safety of principle and adequate return on your money. Operations not meeting these requires are speculative. So, if you want to be an investor, this is my working definition of an investor. An investor is one who earns adequate return on his capital while ensuring safety of principle. So if you want to be an investor, then again, these are the two questions that you need to answer. Are you going to make any money? Is your money safe? If you can answer those two questions, you are ready to move on and learn the art of investing. Thank you for watching this video. This concludes my short two-part series on investing. I will have more videos to come on 
investing in general and on more subjects. So stay tuned and thank you again for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.